Hey folks, Darth Alice here again, and I just want to do a quick little video of the Sabre I just finished. This came to me as a very broken Sabre Forge Redeemer. It was the top end model, I don't remember what they call it. It has the Spark soundboard from Nigon Electronics with an X2 red and two reds and two blues together for purple and blue and red, obviously. What I've done to this is I went through and eliminated the 12 millimeter switches with a sleeve. Heavily aged this thing. I took the original control box, shortened it, modified it, changed it because again I do not like 12 millimeters. They take up too much space. So I mounted a tack switch here and a tack switch here for the main and for the auxiliary. The whole thing had a problem with the center thread joint popping on it. So I built a heavy duty Delrin sled or chassis that precision fits on the inside of this thing. I also made a custom speaker mount, changed the speaker from the one that it came with to a 27 millimeter Railmaster. Um, I moved the recharge port to the pommel because I figured that'd make a nicer spot for that and it gets it out of the way. All the wiring's done with military spec, all weather gauge, Teflon coated wire. A lot of it is strand wire 28 and 30 gauge. The LED, I didn't change that. I changed the reflector over to a Solo's hold because I wanted to push more light through it. Um, but other than that, you can see what I've done here. So let's hear this thing fire up. There's the boot up. I've got a blade here. I don't have any Saber Forge blades. This is just a 7 8 without, without a, um, any kind of film in it. Flash on flash. Lock up. There's the first font. Yep, two sound fonts, and it also has music tracks on there, which I don't believe there's any on it. I didn't mess with the card, it's all stock from Saberforge that way. So thank you again for looking, folks. May the force be with you always. This is Darth Alice.